Recently, I purchased the ECMB10 Sony shotgun microphone. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. You can see them side by side. I wanted something a little bit more compact, just easy like a running gun shotgun microphone, no cords, no battery. All the features really, really intrigued me with this microphone. So today's video is all about just testing out this as a vlogging microphone. I mean, like, look at this size. Like that is just, that's ridiculous. Right now. Feels good to be back downtown. I haven't been down here in forever. I used to work down here. We have a shoot at the Four Seasons residential properties. And what I want to do is just really focus on testing out this new microphone, the Sony ECM B10. B10. Plus, this is cool being back downtown. So we're gonna just rip around here and vlog and test this microphone out, all the different functions. But first, I gotta go shoot this quick listing. That building. That building is where I used to work. There. It's such a cool city. A lot of homeless coming in because of all the weed. Look at all those buttons. Lobby. That took forever to get an elevator. All right, we're done. Lobby. Thank you. Have a good day. I wonder if there's like a famous band staying here. It's probably someone cool. Maybe if I wait long enough, I could get their autograph. I don't have that kind of time. 950? Someone's gonna get an extra hour of meter time. One wheel, drone, photo stuff. Just in comparison, as far as size goes, the ECMB 10 is uh, much smaller, even with the windsock, which nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have on while shooting or vlogging, especially if you're like cruising around on a one wheel or running or you get, I mean, Colorado has a lot of wind, so you definitely want a wind sock on so you don't have to deal with that. This little street's pretty cool. It's called Larimer Square. All the Colorado flags. Okay, we got one more street. Union Station, I don't even remember where I parked my car too. That was kind of dope. Hey. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Uh can I go check your office for the mail key? No. Just kidding. I think, was, I think you checked it last. I swear you checked it last. I was <laughs> hanging not, back up. It's so weird. I can't find it anywhere. I've literally looked in every bag, every drawer, everything. Well. Like hard to not find because it's on a string. But I swear you checked it last. I just want to see. Yeah, you, you can check it. Your drawer I, yeah, for sure. Just yep. Make sure I was like, hey, bye. Okay, bye. This is the perfect spot to test out this microphone. So we're in Union Station. They got this like water fountain here. Right now, the microphone is on just the shotgun directional. I don't even know all the settings. Essentially, just supposed to be capturing the noise that is coming right in front of the camera. So there's all this noise behind right now with these fountains. So you guys can see how it sounds with just just this. So hopefully it's not picking up as much of the sound behind. And then I'm gonna flip it and you guys can see the difference between directional and omnidirectional. And then there's like a half moon setting. So you have the mid ground. So we'll go between each setting right now. Okay, this one is the half moon. You're starting to pick up more. I mean, that's not fair. You got a helicopter right there. Hold on. And then this last setting will be everything behind. So now you should start to hear more of the water fountains that are behind um, and a lot more ambient noise. So 
And what's cool about these three different functions is if I know I don't want to be picking up, so I'm going to switch back, hold on. So if I know I don't want to be picking up anything behind the camera, then I'll switch it to the shotgun mode. But let's say, for example, I want to pick up the camera. And while I'm behind the camera, explain what we're looking at, like these fountains, then it's going to pick up my audio as well as the audio in front. You just have to remember to switch it, which could be difficult. Let's try a new location. need a filter. A couple more functions on this microphone that I wanted to show you guys and test out. All right, last test. So there's two filters on here. There's a noise canceling filter and a low cut filter. Right now I have the noise canceling filter on and there's this like hum behind us from the train. So we're gonna test that out and then uh, to see how much it cancels out if it sounds a little funny, like sometimes the noise canceling feature, I'd much rather correct that in post-production as opposed to like this because it just sounds horrible. Then their last one is this low cut and I'll switch over to that right now. Okay, so this is the low cut feature. Not really sure what it does, but now you can hear what the low cut and we lost all our ambient noise behind us, so. What I did forget is I forgot to pay my meter. We gotta hurry and get back over to the car because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a ticket. Thank you. We gotta hurry up to the car. I kinda of forgot where I parked the car. Damn, there's no doubt I'm gonna have a ticket. I always forget. It's just a rush and I'm so excited to go film. Okay, so like right there, I had the omnidirectional uh, filter on, or setting on. So it was picking up all that wind noise. Almost got hit by a car. I'll stay on the sidewalk for now. Okay, I really need to figure out where I parked my car though. Hold on. Find my items, camera bag. There it is. 15th and Larimer. We're on 15th, so we were close. There we are, no ticket. Love when I get no tickets. After testing it out, using it downtown, I've learned a lot using this little microphone, good and bad. So first off, I love the compact design and simplicity of this microphone. It's so easy to use. I don't have to worry about having another accessory that needs to be charged or have a cord that gets snagged. The interface on the back is super user friendly and easy to navigate. So it's got like a little clamp style shoe mount. Uh, so you just, push it right on and it's just like almost like a full turn and it's on and it syncs with the newer Sony cameras shoe mount. So everything's charged right through there. All the audio just syncs right into camera. So oh, one of the main features of this microphone that I am still trying to get used to and like remember uh, is the three built in pickup patterns. So uh, right here on the back, you have three different patterns, the super directional, pattern, which is the very top. This pattern focuses on audio on a single subject directly in front of the camera. So just right here. Then you have the middle one, which is unidirectional pattern. And this is for more of a wider shot or if you have two subjects on camera. The last one is the omnidirectional. So all the way on the bottom. And the omnidirectional pattern captures in a 360 degree field, which is really nice if you're trying to pick up some environmental sounds and voices from behind the camera. So. If I wanted to slap this on the camera, but if I'm in omnidirectional, I can still talk behind the camera and pick up a good quality audio sound. Uh, whereas if I'm in super directional, facing away from me, it's really gonna drown out my sound similar to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Um, that was one of the things that I really disliked, and we'll do a full video on really comparing these two because I know this is a great microphone. I'm not knocking it. It just doesn't have all the same features as this new microphone. So going back, like one of the things that I really kind of forgot about was switching from omnidirectional to super directional. Um, I didn't use the middle ground very much because it's either I'm going to try and capture, especially for vlogging, I'm going to try and capture uh, 
audio behind the camera or right in front of the camera. So, but I kept forgetting and then when I would turn the camera like this, it would still be an omnidirectional and it would be picking up all the ambient sounds that I didn't necessarily want. So uh, just something that, you know, total user error need to focus on. Speaking of forgetting, this microphone has auto levels, which is huge. Like no longer do you have to set your audio levels and hope that it's right. Hope you're not peaking or hope it's too low. Like again, one less thing I have to worry about, you know? Because when we're vlogging, like the focus should be on your story and the content you're trying to create, not about audio levels. Duh, it just makes sense. The ECM-B10 features an advanced shock and vibration suppressing design. So this will effectively minimize low frequency or handling noise, uh, which can really degrade audio quality. Again, we're looking for the best quality audio we can out of a just minimal compact design for vlogging and run and gun shootings. I still can't get over the size of this thing. Like, look, I mean, I know we're gonna do like full comparison against, against this microphone, but even with like, this is a massive windsock. Like you look, just just here like that just stay tuned click subscribe follow along because we're gonna do like i'm sure a lot of people are rocking this road video mic pro plus and we're really gonna put it to the test so anyway i'm excited to have this little guy in uh in my kit the price for this is about 240 on amazon it's linked down below thanks for watching to the end and uh don't forget to like subscribe for more videos helps us helps us grow as a community I'm excited to have you guys here and we'll see you in the next one.